Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice radical equation x minus root x is equal to 2. Our job is to find all possible values of x. We will solve it by two methods. So, let us start with method 1. In this method, we move this 2 to the left hand side, this negative root x to the right hand side. Then this equation will become x minus 2 is equal to root x. Now, from here we take square of both sides of this equation. So, by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared. This x minus 2 whole squared will become x squared minus 2 times x times 2 plus 2 squared is equal to this uh, square will be cancelled out with this square root and uh, at right hand side we are left with x. Next x squared negative 2 times x times 2 will become negative 4x. We move this x to the left hand side this will become negative x plus this 2 squared will become 4 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out x and in bracket left uh, x minus 4. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 1 and in bracket left uh, x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression x minus 4 and this expression x minus 4 is common. So, we factor out this x minus 4. And, uh, in bracket left uh, this x and this negative 1 in bracket left uh, x minus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x 4 and from this equation we get the value of x 1. So, we have uh, two values of x 4 and 1. Now, let us solve this equation by method 2. This method we suppose that this uh, square root of x is equal to t. Let square root of x is equal to t. And if we square both sides of this equation, this implies that uh, x is equal to t squared. So, we replace this x uh, with uh, t squared, we replace this uh, root x with uh, t. So, this equation will become t squared minus t is equal to 2. We move this 2 to the left hand side, then this will become t squared minus t minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, negative t can be written as uh, this negative t can be written as uh, negative 2 t plus t. So, we rewrite this equation as uh, t squared minus 2 times t plus t minus this 2 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, uh, we can factor out t and in bracket left uh, t minus 2. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus 1. In bracket left uh, t minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression t minus 2 and this expression t minus 2 is common. So, we factor out this uh, t minus 2 and uh, in bracket left uh, this t and this plus 1. In bracket left uh, t plus 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression t minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from this equation we get the value of t is equal to 2 
and from this equation we get the value of t is equal to negative 1. Now to find the values of x recall that we have supposed we have supposed that root x is equal to t. We have supposed that root x is equal to t. So when t is equal to 2 then this equation will become root x is equal to 2. If we square both sides of this equation then this square will be considered with this square root we get the value of x is equal to 2 squared is 4 and when t is equal to negative 1 then this equation will become root x is equal to negative 1 and if we square both sides of this equation then this square will be considered with the square root and we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 square is equal to positive 1. So, from this method we get the same values of x 4 and 1. Now, let us verify and see that whether these values of x are solutions or not. The original equation is x minus root x is equal to 2. So, when x is equal to 4 then this equation will become 4 minus root 4 is it equal to 2. Now, this 4 minus this uh, square root of 4 will become 2 is it equal to 2 and 4 minus 2 is 2 is equal to 2. You can see that the uh, left hand side is equal to the right hand side. It means uh, this value of x 4 is a valid solution. Now, when x is equal to 1 then this equation will become 1 minus root 1 is it equal to 2. Now, 1 minus square root of 1 is 1 is it equal to 2 and 1 minus 1 is 0 and this is not equal to 2. So, this value of x 1 is not a solution we reject this value.